I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Leeper was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. I told you that Frank Stone was not evil. Me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Poor guy. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Mm. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? I mean, did, did there's just like a line like in that, like, yes, there's an amount of suffering that is okay. And then amount that is definitely not. dream Ugh. how long was I out I I don't even remember falling asleep 15 20 minutes <sighs> seems like it was a pretty intense dream wait what happened to Augustine again she left L left she said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand? Oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Uh, the more this guy talks, we're all a the less the I like it. Floor. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Right? Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? Right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Yeah, I mean, it's a... It's well, been shot by teenagers. First rule good of business candidate. is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Words can hardly express how much I dislike that guy. Oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? <laughs> New Augustine, I guess, but not like 
This kind of cash. Bro, you just sent her a gigantic like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. You clearly <laughs> didn't scout rattling this. around up here that could be mutually beneficial. Hmm. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. <laughs> well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Yeah. It's surely better than talking to this guy. This place is just so fucking dark. I like what they did with the lights and shadows. It's a little bit frustrating sometimes, though. Hello. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. Huh. I got a cheek from a guy. Now that was a curious he's sound. Guy, he's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. What's that? Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. There's something suspicious. Except the whole thing, of course. We have no signal. I, I swear I'm barely moving my mouse and this thing is going so up and down. So she's looking at different rooms and they they all seem empty, no? Okay. I mean it's just weird security. What's the name important by the way? Archibald McMillan. Hmm. Maybe it was. Oh, it's the tree on the shelter wood. We cannot use it though. And we have pictures of people that we don't know too much about. There are no names. I feel like we have to take a look upstairs. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie. What was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it. How did you know that? Okay, so she's the the kid's niece. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago, a whole other lifetime. 
Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that oh. Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. Oh my god, kill him, please. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Sure. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? Oh, God, please. This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Okay, bro. Uh, I swear if there is a chance to push this guy down the stairs, I will do it. And not look back. Oh, nice. I like this class. Oh, what's this? It's a cool hillbilly. He's missing, missing a hammer. Though. Yeah. We will find a hammer, don't worry. Um, I don't think that's a DVD reference. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. What's this? Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Yeah. What's this? It's a elevator. Oh, it's Carmina. Hello. Face of it. Sensationalist <clears throat> trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Oh. So, yeah. It, it's the other sheriff. Because at the time, Sam was not sheriff, right? In Fall 63, Kazich was the local sheriff of Cedar Hill, Sleepy Oregon Steel Town. Just a regular blue collar Joe doing his darnest to make life a little safer for the folks who put their trust in him. Oh god. But Cedar Hills was hiding a silent menace, a merciless monster, preying on the unsuspecting citizens Kazakh has born to protect. When the bodies start piling up, the only thing left was for an everyday hero to step up. Oh god. This is a true account of how Cedar Hill's first and only serial killer was brought to justice, told first time by the man with their look TV in the eye, and pulled the trigger. Yeah, okay, bro. Okay. Mm. That fate of night. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wanna, I wanna see what, what he recalls. Air quotes. The fatal night, I sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. The flatfoot was from out of state and that is green for my liking. You know, green. Ha ha ha. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I told I stepped into the fury depths of hell itself. And there was Stone, standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle. A tiny bundle of innocent hands held in his dead grip. I feel like this guy didn't actually write it himself. I'm not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost. So I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer. The mayor was struck through. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out of towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Sadie must have an accomplice to do what they did. Me? 
I don't buy it, never have. Uh, yeah, yes. the cop that should have, I don't know, sold fish as, as a job. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone, saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Apparently not. Apparently not, brother. Let's go. Yeah, there were suspicions. But the police is not always on point. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? No way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Looks like it opens with a key. I like this. I would love Augustine to have a has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. I'm not getting through that. Definitely not. But maybe we can open something else. Find something else. First of all, we need a little hillbilly armor, no? Carmina with the... Um, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. With a cold wind farm reference, the cow tree. Um, okay, so this one cannot be uh, used because you cannot roll this. I, I assume you have to roll them. So, but we can probably find some items that we that we could maybe use. Maybe downstairs there's something, no? Like, we enter through a door in this room. Maybe we can keep... no. Isn't there like a little hammer on this? No. Okay. Um, maybe there's more here? No. We just need one piece of the puzzle, really. It's weird that, like... Yeah, you cannot open the doors anymore. It's weird that in this room, like, all we found was the cameras. Why is there nothing more? I would suspect there could be more, but... There's not. Uh... What's this? I think it's the tower. Went over, went over in the tunnel. <sighs> Is it though? It, it looks more complicated than just things placed in the tower. Augustine has interest in temporal machinery. Oh, she, she just deducted that? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I would have never thought. I cannot open this. Maybe there's something in the cameras? There doesn't seem to be and I can't touch anything. No, I don't think there's anything else downstairs. I, I checked it pretty thoroughly. It's weird though that you cannot do anything with this, no? But yeah, you, you can't. Nah, uh, nothing I can do. I didn't try the glass panels to be fair, but I came close and there was no interaction prompt. Mm. Yeah, I cannot move anything until I have peace.
Needs a key. Diagonal. This is just for the collectibles. It doesn't show me anything. I mean, can I jump this? No. <laughs> that would have been too good. Let's try talking to Madison. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. Let her talk to herself. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. Oh. I know you said it had been a really long time, but Poor can girl. you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well... She was the most intimidating girl I'd ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Hmm. Why not? She died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night. We were on our way home from picking up a new camera. Mm -hmm. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. It was not the age of us. Right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. It's nice to remember, I guess. Hey, hey, guys. Look. What? what? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. There's oh my God, there's someone out there. Guy. Okay, why is this so weird? Uh, okay. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. Why She's got this place wired though? with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Villains. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should what? find Augustine? Give her a heads up? What? Why did the lower my relationship? Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? Yes. There's artifacts place. all over the place. Right? So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. 
Yeah, but we don't have point. the thingy. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. I politely disagree, but okay. Who's this guy? Hmm. 